Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices for Thursday the 10th of June and as you guys are baking it out in in Europe there, uh, in Australia here in the Blue Mountains, we've got our first snow for the winter. So <laughs> I'm sure you've had enough snow. Um, so with the stock 50, we're looking at it in two ways. So with wave four here, and this is the same with the DAX, we've got one and two and three and four, and then one, two, three, four, five, finishing off here. And that's the end of it. That's the conservative count. As mentioned yesterday, I'm not that keen on this count because of wave four overlapping uh, the top of wave one, but it kind of looks like a little bit of a triangly thing, doesn't it? Kind of ending uh, in its own sort of way. So um, we've played it like that. If we have a look at the DAX, we can take the DAX one step further. So the DAX would be, if we have the same wave four here as wave one here and two here, instead of calling it wave three here, we call it wave one and two here, and then one, two, three, four, and five for wave three and wave four here. But wave four also overlaps wave one here as well. Now, uh, we can take it one step higher with putting wave one over here for this and wave two here for this. So that's also possible. Um, we were kind of expecting it to pull back yesterday, which it has. It's bounced off the 500, which is, which we expect as well. So there may be a top in place and we talked about shorting it, uh, just under here. Um, so in this instance here, we'll need to see it pretty much drop back down from this point here. So, um, of course we've got, we can work with numbers. So we can work with 600 because obviously that's playing, uh, a part in this game. So if the 600 became support, right, with a little classic trading levels pattern sitting on here, then get rid of the short position. You may have already, well, you should have taken some at 500 because five being the second strongest number. But um, yeah, if that becomes the support and to go long again, then we would need to be up here again. Okay, so we would need another little classic trading levels pattern sitting here for this. So it's just really the first high above the level that we're looking for in that regard. So that's all quite sort of simple from from that point of view. So we'll just see what uh, what plays out here and also the FTSE as well. I want to look at the FTSE in the same vein as well. So we can look at the FTSE um, as a top in place here. Or if I go to my tick chart here, just going from four hour to the tick chart. So if this look basically here, if the 100 becomes support, well, then we'll look to go long again. OK, it's, it's that simple. We don't want to go short here because we're above this number here. So uh, we need to be on the right side at the right time. And that's what I try to do. So but if I go to the tick chart, we'll look at a completely different count. And we'll just bring in some more data. 15 should do the trick. So if I was um, looking, looking at this uh, for what it is and not thinking about the US markets topping and so on, then I would look at this as wave one here and two here. And then one, because I've got five waves here, I've got one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five here. So that's an impulse wave and a corrective wave and an impulse wave and a corrective wave. And then we've got a little five wave up here as well. So we could call it wave one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two here. And then going into three, four, five and coming out the other side, you know. So we could go, we could look to go long above the 7,100. Um, normally what I find is that it's the fourth time, you know, mark corrections can really wear you down, but, um, I think it was Gan that said it's normally the fourth time. So one, two, three, four, we should be able to go through this time. Um, yeah. Otherwise, if we drop down low from this point, well, then we'll know that we've got a top in here and this is a bit of a weird count, you know. So really, I'll just leave it being that simple at this stage. Uh, let's see what uh, plays out in all of this. Alrighty. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.